Hi Scorpios, it's Athena. Welcome to your July 2021 reading for Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For those of us in the United States, we are celebrating Independence Day, 4th of July. However, for those of us who are not celebrating or celebrating wherever you fall or wherever you land, wherever you're at, meaning wherever you live. Why I had to say that, it had a meaning, I'm sure. However, keeping your semblance of independence, are you independent? Are you becoming independent? Have you become independent? Do you want financial independence? It is all about being independent for the month of July, across the board for all signs, wherever you reside. Let's go. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The Libra card, justice. Injustice for all. What is it that you don't see that still needs to lend itself to a balanced resolution, I'm hearing? A balanced resolution of what? Truth. Are you being truthful with yourself and with others? Is someone else, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, is someone coming to tell you something? Are you going to tell someone something? Is it something that you want to hear that will set you free? Is it someone's truth that you're getting to the heart of the matter here with? The next two cards. Oh, or is someone not telling the truth, completely not being honest, or trying to get away with something? Does someone not feel rightfully in their own truth? And or Scorpio, do you? We're dealing with all the truth and nothing but the truth here, Scorpios. Are you not feeling financially stable? Are you not telling someone or you're not or you're trying to balance your finances and you're just not telling people the truth about how you really feel are you not seeing situations as they really are are you sugarcoating or is someone else sugarcoating a situation regarding money right who's trying to outfox who here that's what i feel here look at with the with the um, knight who's armored to the truth, right? And to the seven of swords who, does someone know the truth that they're not telling you? Is someone trying to outfox the other? Someone t speaks the truth and the other doesn't. And here's the balance of the two. Right? The balance of really, do you feel worthy or does someone not feel worthy of your love, of your truth, of your heart, of your center? Right? This is all about your center, how you feel, how you act. Is something not justifi justified in terms of your finances, in terms of your money? Are you not feeling you're getting the real truth about money? about where you stand, about what is fair in love and war. That's how I, that's how I, just what I heard. Is it fair in love and war? Are you not seeing that someone is, or you're not? I feel this is the, um, a game of intellect that you're having with someone. And someone is going to think that they won. But understand, this is the Six of Wands, yeah? And we have the Five of Pentacles. Someone might be thinking that they outsmarted you or you think you are outsmarted someone but the joke's on you or someone else. Someone thought they could get away with lying and cheating and stealing and manipulating and it's not going to happen because... Justice is the one who speaks the truth. 
someone's in the public eye and someone doesn't feel worthy of that person. Who's, I mean, I'm going to say it. With, my, with the Five of Pentacles, I always look at this as who's the beggar and who's the thief. And that's how I feel exactly here with the, with the, um, with the Knight of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Who's the beggar and who's the thief? And here's the balance, right? The justice. Who's the beggar and who's the thief? Who's lying to save their own ass and who's stealing to get away with something? That you know and I know that they're not going to get away with. For sure. Right? Let's get a couple cards here to give us a little more to what's going on. Ah, the death reversed. Right? And the lovers reversed. So we have definitely a Gemini with, a Lib with Scorpio here. This is your card. Gemini and Scorpio, we also have Libra, and we also have, of course, Aquarius and Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and Leo, Aries, Sag. So we kind of have everyone here, but the two things that stand out most here is who's lying to who about what. Is someone not revealing the truth about how they feel, what they want, is someone stringing someone along? Right? The two the two swords here. These this is someone telling you one thing but doing another. Telling you one thing but totally doing another. Yeah, stringing you along. Someone might be stringing you along, Scorpio, or you're doing it to them. Injustice for all. Is something financial with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or yourself? Something financial, someone lost and someone won. At what? Your own game. Their own game. Someone's playing games. All right? And that's what, that's what the whole... When I shuffled and when I felt there was something really really getting sticky with Scorpios. Something in your life, and it looks financial, and someone's trying to outdo another in the court of law, justice. Someone's trying to balance out, you know, someone's trying to balance out the story. Someone's telling one story, and the other's trying to tell another, and hence the story of someone that maybe you were dealing with in the past, that is not completely ended is because there's no win. Someone's not, has not won yet with the financial part of the legalities going on. There are legalities here. The justice card is about the legal system. The justice card is about what's fair and just. Injustice for all. You know you've heard me say that time again. Right? You're dealing with a Gemini and or the other signs. But I don't feel that. I feel like you're really dealing, Scorpio, with a Gemini who is telling you one thing and giving you another or vice versa. Who's the smarter of the two? Someone's in the public eye. Maybe this affects a lot of people when it comes to the five of pentacles and the six of wands. Someone is in the public eye and maybe you don't feel like you belong in this group. Or someone doesn't feel like they belong anymore in a group setting. Someone is trying to outdo someone for sure. In a financial situation, in the justice system, trying to get your due diligence of money and or intellectual property. Um, setting off on a new course. I'm going to take one more here. They gave me two more. So it's the three of cups with the magician, which means there were three people involved. There are children involved. These could be children of your own. 
maybe we can't come out in the public eye because the magician's reversed. Someone's being emotionally manipulative with regard to how they really feel. Here it is. Not showing how they really feel. Not telling you how they really feel. Telling the swords. Someone's telling you one thing and doing another without question here. Without question. Someone's becoming financially independent from this situation. And again, the truth shall set you free. And the last thing that I'm feeling, Scorpio, here is are you harboring resentment over, look at this, are you harboring resentment over someone else's success? And do you feel like it's not fair that someone else has this and you don't, which is right here? I don't know. Someone else could be feeling that someone got the financial gain and you don't, or vice versa. It's both ways. It's how you see it. Don't make it fit. It has to resonate or it either works or it doesn't. And this is exactly someone who has lied in the court of law. This is the law, the justice. And you don't have it once. You have it twice. Look at that. Justice, the truth, and the lies. Justice, independent, or needing financial gain, right? You see how that goes? Someone is winning in a court case, in a court battle by using their smarts and outsmarting you or you're doing it with them. Someone's gaining the financial, but guess what? You may be thinking that you won or someone thinks that they won, right? And they have a group of people behind them, right? Here's the testimonial. Other people that you're in the same group with or what have you, right? Someone thinks they outbid you, outwon you, but they cannot deny, and nor can you, that there is no relationship here. This is a past relationship that cannot be reignited because there's three people. And if you're dealing with an ex-lover, an ex-friend, someone in your group of people, three people even, right? You're outnumbered. I heard you're outnumbered. If you feel someone's getting what you deserve, and it's not fair. All you can do is know that it was a, you know, I just heard lost cause and I just heard, you know, um, I heard take the money and run. I just heard that. Yeah. Someone's taking the money and running. Yeah. Okay. I send you so much love. Have a great July. I see that very much into financial independence for someone. So be mindful who you try to outsmart or who tries to outsmart you. Because in the end, justice is always served. Have a great month and I send you much love.